Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the third part of the slowly changing dimensions section. Previously, we had been looking at populating a slowly changing dimension of type 1, where we didn't want to preserve the history. Now, with our custom market data, we want to preserve the history, so we'll be looking at creating a transformation to populate a slowly changing dimension of type 2. So first things first, we will create the input statement. Looks like this, so just mention all the fields that you want to import. Rename any generically named fields, like name in this case, so we rename it customer name. And then very important, order by the last updated field, so a date field, which basically preserves the historic order of the data set. Okay, let's copy these records. Switch over to Spoon, create a new transformation, save it, name it TRDIM Customer. Then we will choose from the input folder the table input step, double click on it, copy and paste the query in there. For the connection, choose SLS RAW, click on Preview to make sure everything is still working. You see here, everything is properly sorted by the date field, so that's OK. Click on OK. Next, from the Data Warehouse folder, choose a Dimension Lookup Update. Connect these two steps. Double click on the last one. Connection set SLS DMA. For the schema, make sure you reuse uh, the parameter we set up early on. Dimensional table is called DIM Customer. We want to enable the cache to have a fast lookup. Plus, in our case, the data set is quite small, so fit in the memory. Our key is the customer ID, and then the technical key we call customer TK. Version fields, we leave it as, as it is, and very important here, the stream date field, that's the one you want to pay special attention to. So, in our input data set, last updated is the field that basically tells us when a record was changed, so we want to mention this one here. Can leave everything else here the same, then click on the field step, hit get fields, and move the last field, last updated. And you make sure everything is on insert here, which basically, as you can see, by the context help text is for Kimball type 2 updates. So that's basically it. Now we want to create the DDR, so you hit the SQL button. You can uh, amend this slightly, so my version looks a little bit different. I've prepared that already. So this create statement I will run, and then after this, click OK here, and just execute the transformation, and let's see what's happening. So we see 11 records got inserted, that's what we expect. So, obviously, we want to test if the update strategy works. For that purpose, I prepared in the SLS raw data generator folder another spreadsheet ending in SCD, which basically has two records changed, which are highlighted here in red, and also a new one, which is highlighted in green. So, we have to load this data, and you can do this by opening your terminal, navigating to the folder where you saved all the project files, and then just execute MySQL SLS underscore raw, and then basically mention your user credentials and feed in the SLS raw SCD dump SQL file. Now, let's execute the transformations again, and after this, we will see what happened to the data. So again, the lens one as well, and as we saw, the customer one is already finished, so let's have a look. Um, so let's run a select on the customer table, and here you will see, ah, we have now new versions here, it's just no, it's not just one, but two as well, and you see for Mr. Diego Sanchez and Mrs. Radcliffe, we have new records here as expected, and watch out for the date from date here, so we see it with both records, the record changed on the 20th of March, so that's quite important. And then with the lens data, you can have a look yourself, but basically you will see that they are still only version 1. Actually, it's running quickly as it finished, 
So you see everything is still on version 1 and the reason for that is because we said okay don't preserve the history, just update the records. So summing up, you learned uh, how to populate the slowly changing dimension type 1 and 2. Next up, you will learn how to populate the fact dimension. So see you soon.